what is up everyone welcome back to my channel and happy new year for 2021 so i'm finally putting out this video it's been a really long time but this whole month of january it's been really hectic you know handling a newborn which is awesome by the way it's so much fun and we're learning so much shayan and i on the 2nd of january we had seth gomez uh so we went uh to nine wells at about 9 a.m we had to check in at 9 a.m because the operation was at 11. so we went packed the day before we packed everything actually no i packed before but i had to just see if I had packed most of the stuff, I think I took way too many stuff to the hospital. But uh, I will give you guys an update on what you actually need to pack for a hospital bag. Um, so yeah, the day before Shannon, I was so like excited and nervous. And I don't know, we were feeling so many things. But like as soon as we left home, we realized, oh my god, you know, it's not going to be just the two of us. It's going to be another person with us for the rest of our lives. So today is the day Jellybean will be arriving. And it's crazy because when we get home, we're going to have another little fellow with us. It's so exciting. We can't wait to meet him. So just on our way to the hospital. Yay! We're going to see our little baby soon. Yep. Pretty <laughs> excited. Ashera is ready with her dog tot. <laughs> My doctor was Dr. Sudhira Udavala who is at Nine Wells and he is absolutely amazing. This, as soon as I met him for the first time, I was obsessed. He's so sweet and he made me feel so comfortable and so safe. Yeah, so I definitely recommend the Dr. Sudhira Udavala if you're having a baby. And definitely go to Nine Wells as well because the service there is amazing. Yeah, I got to Nine Wells by 9am. And we checked into the Moon Suite, uh, the ninth floor. That's the premier service floor. Guys, it's absolutely amazing. Like, honestly, like, I felt like I was in a hotel. Seriously. And, like, you know, the room service, you get food, whatever you want. I was like, it was like paradise for me. <laughs> and I wasn't, I was nervous at the beginning, but, you know, the nurses made me feel so comfortable and they were so kind. So I was pretty, I was, uh, Stress free basically. <laughs> okay, so we, are, we just got a nine wheels and we are on the premier floor, which is the ninth floor, and it's a street floor, and they have all these cute little suites, and we got this suit. Sunshine, baby, Ellie, honey bear, and bunny rabbit. So we got the moon suite. <laughs> Alright, let's go check it out. Nice lounge area for the parents to relax till the baby gets here. This is the delivery suite. This is the delivery suite. So you have your own private delivery suite in the moon suite, plus the water birth is right there. <laughs> and then we walk to my <laughs> Aru. Aru. <laughs> yeah. And this is Aru. <laughs> wow. wow. Hi guys. What is that you guys for later now? <laughs> <laughs> so basically I had a cesarean. I chose to do a cesarean because, well, I'm kind of scared. I was kind of scared to do a natural, going to natural labor. So I decided to do a C-section. Went into the theater and uh, they prepped me and uh, I, was, I was nervous at this point because Shayan wasn't with me. He had to come in only when the doctor came in to open me up. 
and the scariest thing for me was the epidural but honestly like the nurse who gave me the epidural was awesome like i didn't feel a thing actually i felt like a tiny little mosquito bite i mean it's not like that for everyone i think but for me it was just like a tiny mosquito bite and that <laughs> just seeing my legs going everywhere and you're not feeling it i was like whoa what is this this is, this is like crazy but anyway so when that happened of course i was crying because i was like oh my god this is this is actually happening and then shehan finally came because and when i saw shehan coming in i cried even more because i was like oh my god i'm having a baby this is so exciting this is crazy so then dr sudhir came in and then he was explaining everything to me and he said nothing to worry about it's going to be done soon the doctor was like okay baby is coming now in like 5 10 minutes baby is coming now no and then we could hear the crying and they brought him and oh my god she was so cute i could believe that he was in me for 9 months because during the pregnancy i kept telling myself like no i don't feel like i'm pregnant you know like there's like i still can't believe that there's a person inside me but when he came out i was It was surreal. Like we, honestly, Shan and I fell mad in love, and we were so obsessed. And then the doctor, the uh, our pediatrician, we took uh, he took Seth to uh, just check him and you know see if everything was okay, and he was fine. So I had to uh, go in. I, I was in the theater actually, and then I had to feed baby immediately. They were like, okay, it's time to feed baby, and I was like, what really? Like milk comes like that immediately, so uh, yeah, I had to feed baby for about like half an hour to forty five minutes, and then we took uh, we took actually the nurses took me and baby up. <laughs> so we stay. at nine wells for two days if i could i would have stayed for at least five days <laughs> because i felt so comfortable there after uh, the c section i couldn't feel anything for like about four to five hours from my waist down i couldn't feel anything but then slowly slowly i started feeling a little bit of pain pain kept coming and they kept giving me uh, like pain killers you know to reduce the pain uh but uh afterwards i think towards the night that day uh if, to be honest i was in pain uh i couldn't walk or anything until the next day because i had to wait till they took the catheter out of me so after that the next day the nurse came and she was like okay it's time to shower it's time to uh walk around so i was like oh my gosh how am i going to do this uh, i just had to walk slowly slowly walk around it actually helped to walk because the nurse said when you keep walking the pain reduces So that's what every like every hour I kept kept trying to walk around, which helped a lot. So first uh, the second day we just the nurses were teaching us stuff, you know how to feed the baby, uh, how to feed, uh, different different things I should eat. So this is the third day that we're here and we're staying. Not but not that we're staying. We're leaving tonight. And uh, I just want to say that the nine wheel staff here was amazing. I was nervous in the beginning, but now I I'm so confident they helped me so much. So we're at the Moon Suite now, and oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a hotel. Honestly, the food here I can order whatever I want. There's like a room service menu. It's the best, and I had the nasi goreng of course because I love my rice. <laughs> But uh, yeah, th this suite is really beautiful, and the nurses here are so helpful. They really helped me with everything. And this is our little baby boy, Seth Avendra Gomez. Yep. Say hi, world. Hi. And say hi back, Seth. He's fast asleep at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Had a good feed, had a good nap, and now ready to go home. Doctor Sudhir came and he checked up on me and he was like, you know, if you want to stay an extra day, you can stay an extra day, or you can go home. You're fine. But I think we want to go home as soon as possible because we want to take set, you know, and get into our environment and you know, start the process, you know, start uh, doing everything by ourselves. Okay. <laughs> we first went 
to church. We went to St. Anthony's. So we went there, we said a prayer and we thanked God for everything He's done for us and blessing us with a beautiful little child. So we went to lit a candle. Set first ride. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. First car ride with Uncle Nalin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, baby. That's the first time in his new home. Actually, go and open the door for story. Surprise! Oh, hi, guys! You guys <laughs> about to go into your room for the first time, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy is getting ready for the first feed. What an experience this has been. Can't believe it's done. And now we have a little man with us. Body Bind in by uh, Sarah Ilias. It's called Mama Major Magic. Uh, you can check it out on Instagram. So I started that and honestly for postpartum moms, that's the most amazing thing to do because it, for one and a half hours, every, for at least, so they have packages for 10 days, 20 days and 30 days. So I got the 10 day package. And uh, so every day there's a lady who comes for one and a half hours who gives you a body massage and helps with the water retention and a body binding and the body binding you have to wait in it for like uh for like seven hours to help the tummy go in and to put the uterus back into place it really help the body binding and the massage because you know as a new mom you get kind of overwhelmed by everything so it really helped me relax and i feel completely good now i'm like fully fresh and i feel like i'm coming back to myself again and that is why I took some time to uh, do this video because that one month I just wanted to relax and I didn't want to think too much about everything. So that is why I decided, okay, now today I need to put this video out. I need to record everything. I need to get back, you know, back to my routine and what I used to do. So and I wanted to share everything with you guys as well because you have supported me so, so much. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I know it wasn't much that, you know, I couldn't record much, but I just wanted to explain everything that happened, you know, the process. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And I will see you guys next week. And I'm excited to put out more videos for you guys. And I'm coming back and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Bye.